Yes, I be your baby. Yes, I be whatever that you tell me when you're ready. Yes, I be your girl, forever your lady. You ain't never gotta work. I'm down for you, baby. another episode of hashtag fit with Jack for today's video I'm gonna show you how to create these super easy and awesome DIY workout shirts I have this one from juicy couture that says green juice now champagne later I wanted to get so many more from juicy couture and I've also seen some really cute ones from Wild Fox that are about a hundred dollars and personally I think that's way too much to spend on a workout shirt so I was inspired to just create my own. So all of these designs you're about to see were inspired from shirts that I've seen online but like I said these are just so much cheaper and I really just like customizing them and personalizing them to my own liking. I think it's so much fun so this would be fun to do by yourself or with some friends so yeah I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado Let's go ahead and get started. To create these DIY workout shirts, you will need transfer iron-on paper for white fabric and slash or dark fabric, and I found these at Michael's. You'll also need some plain t-shirts. You might have some laying around the house, but I got these plain workout shirts from Walmart, and then I also decided to create some sweaters, and I got these two from Target in the clearance section. You'll also need an iron, a computer, and a printer. The first thing you're going to want to do is open your internet and go to pickmonkey.com and design your own image with an 8x10 frame and I'm going to make the background transparent and then add the text I want to put onto my shirt and try to make it fit as big as possible on the page. Now you want to grab your transfer paper and follow the instructions exactly how it is because I find that some of them are different so please make sure you read the instructions for the specific one you grabbed. This one asked me to mirror my image so I just did that before printing and you want to allow the ink to dry so maybe wait about 20 minutes before moving on to the next step. So this is the first shirt I created so it's like the test shirt and looking back I would consider this the lazy way to create shirts because I just iron on the entire page to the shirt but it would have looked so much better if I took the time to cut each letter out. I did that with the rest of the shirt so you'll be able to see how much better it looks but I'm just going to apply pressure to every spot on the page and then allow it to cool off before peeling back the page. So I'm just going to repeat this process with the rest of the shirts and here I'm showing you how you can actually use color. I know in my first one I used all black but you can do color and it actually looks super super cute. And here I am taking the time to cut out each letter. It is a bit tedious but it is so so worth it. dark t-shirt transfer iron-on paper thingamajiggy and make sure again you read the instructions because these ones were totally different than the first one so just make sure you're always reading the instructions so here I'm just going to make a yoga one I'm gonna do a little tiny mini lookbook at the end of this so you can see all of the t-shirts and sweaters that I made so you can see what they all say and all that kind of stuff to give you inspiration. I'm going to stop talking now because I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, bye bye. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Come join the Little Flower family and 
speaking of little flower, here is my little flower of the week. Woo! If you guys want to be my next little flower of the week, make sure you pick up a Jack Jack shirt or a new hashtag fit with Jack water bottle and snap a picture of you rocking your Jack Jack merch and be sure to post it online and tag me in it so I can see it and you might just be featured here next. Also, I would love to see if you guys recreate any of these shirts. So if you do, make sure you send them to me so I can see your beautiful pictures and your beautiful designs. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat, all under the username Jack Jack. And you can follow me on my daily vlog channel if you'd like. I will leave a link down below. And I think I've done enough self-promo for one day. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye, have a magical day.